Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Independence Day um, of Grenada. And uh, um, let us think about the dependence and independence. And uh, um, well, first of all, uh, we depend from God, uh, but uh, uh, we uh, also, as church, is independent of. Uh, Yes, we are independent of anything in this world, which should be uh, the spiritual independence of uh, gluttony, of uh, fornication, of greed for money, of uh, vainglory, of pride, and of despondency, of anger. And uh, that is a uh, uh, kind of independence we uh, uh, mostly celebrate every day. And uh, uh, every minute when we um, fall in any kind of a sin, and Jesus Christ said, uh, whoever does a sin is a slave to sin. When we repent of our sins and we confess and uh, regret, we celebrate our independence from uh, whatever. Because uh, if you fear God, you will fear nobody if you depend on God alone. Who you, uh, you don't need anything. God himself is independent himself. He, uh, if all, like, everybody will backslide from God and stop praising him. His glory will not be diminished. All the angels, if they stop praising God in heaven, the God will be continue to be glorified forever because he is uh, doesn't need our prayers, our praises, it's just we are created uh, uh, to be independent from passions, but dependent from God alone. That is uh, the message for today. And uh, uh, may God help us uh, uh, repent our sins and uh, fear Him alone and uh, um, not anything in this world and uh, also acknowledge our um, poverty of spirit and uh, not delu delusion and uh, deceive ourselves because the satan is uh, deceiving people they are saying like oh if you will go away from your parents you will become um, an independent if you don't uh, pay attention to what they are saying and uh, and then you go and you let astray and you fall in any kind of uh, uh, troubles so uh, and so you get more entangled in uh, much more um, things which you later regret so uh, but the, um, the freedom that we have is uh, mostly for the sake of doing the good things uh, because uh, that is what we are looking for as Christians we need freedom not by itself, as it is like uh, something which is uh, uh, self-sufficient that we are looking for. We are uh, we are looking for freedom for certain purpose, and this purpose is to be able to do good and uh, uh, for good works as much as possible. If we um, are lucky and fortunate to have uh, higher class or higher position we using it to uh, do as much um, profit to benefit to express more charity and love and uh, to whom is much given it will be required much so if you are uh, more free than somebody else then it's from you will be required more you're more responsible you're at a higher risk of uh, abusing that uh, advantage that you already uh, which you have and uh, if you are less free uh, you have less responsibility and uh, you are, have less chains because uh, this uh, um, tr earthly treasure and uh, freedom um, puts you in much more responsibility and uh, and much chains because you have to always think of it and worry about it how you are uh, using it and uh, because we know that uh, 
when we have uh, now experience in freedom, how many drugs are people using? Because uh, people don't understand what is uh, what is it about, and uh, so that kind of uh, options that we get right now, it's uh, it's. Um, on the other hand, it's much more chains for us, for our mind, for our being worried, because um, it, we should constantly think and make the right decision, be vigilant. Um, as uh, Satan is there in the world and the war is going on, and uh, if we could be free from that, uh, that would be the uh, best freedom. And uh, where the Holy Spirit is, there is the freedom. And uh, that is why uh, we uh, are looking to acquire the Holy Spirit first, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, uh, the prayer in the Holy Spirit, the charity, the virtues in the Holy Spirit, the presence of God, the remission of sins, the forgiveness, adoption and deification as all those gifts of the Holy Spirit. And uh, uh, we're looking for grace and uh, we're looking for sanctification and blessings and consecrations of uh, everything in our life as uh, the action of the Holy Spirit, God Himself, who proceeds from the Father and uh, who uh, acts invisibly and uh, un through His uncreated grace and uh, who encourages us to partake uh, uh, in that grace and uh, be um, part of, uh, become the, um, enjoy the God's freedom because God is uh, is the one who is uh, bringing us from the chains where we fall initially when we make an agreement with Satan, and then through the cross he mash up the uh, serpent head, uh, that the same seed of a woman that was uh, uh, born from Virgin Mary. All these things are there. All this information are in the books, and especially. Uh, we find these many explanations in the books of the Saint Theologian Gregory, who is uh, like the Saint John the, the Theologian and also the Simeon the New Theologian. And uh, they uh, explain about God. So I recommend you to read this and get an encounter with this, because this is the today um, Saint Memory uh, of Saint Gregory the Theologian. And uh, also, he is the ecumenical teacher, as well as Saint John Chrysostom and the Saint Basil the Great, uh, who all lived in the fourth century. And uh, it is uh, when the Christianity started to be free from persecutions in the uh, Roman Empire, they shined as uh, uh, like they used the freedom to be able to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and uh, to free the church from the false teachers like look at saint gregory the theologian all the capital was full of uh, so-called christians who were believing in jesus christ as the creation of the father not the same essence and he was the one so he just have a small place to rent and uh, call the church anastasia because the uh, resurrection and from him uh, that place more Christians get influenced through orthodoxy and eventually he get, became the patriarch and the bishop of Constantinople there uh, uh, who um, who uh, um, also was on the second uh, ecumenical council but we remember him as the uh, Nazians, bishop of Nazians and uh, he has father also the bishop and uh, mm, he was preaching in a way of a hymns also, uh, like uh, based on his uh, uh, sermons. Now we take them and we have these nice hymns that we read in the church. They are with a deep meaning as we convert them to, uh, to the songs, the spiritual songs that we continue even until they. So we see how on the example of that saint, who used his freedom of uh, persecutions uh, to build up uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, orthodox theology. And uh, he himself continued running like 
when you are persecuted and you are running from a slave masters, uh, you are getting strong and, uh, and uh, skilled. But he continued that skills even uh, though he had no uh, external persecution to, uh, to set us an example of uh, uh, God uh, mm, teaching and uh, of, the, of divine life. Saint Gregory, we pray to you that you will teach our pastors and priests to be the good shepherds of the flock of Christ, that you will protect, uh, that God protect us through your prayers and uh, the teachings uh, from all heresies, that we will have find time to, um, uh, instead of uh, um, being interested in this uh, worldly things, to find time to get familiarized with your theology and your works. And um, we pray that uh, uh, we will get the same inspiration as you, so we could be wise as serpent and simple as the doves, and uh, as uh, you were. We pray to Saint Gregory that uh, by his prayers, uh, God uh, give a peace to the church and reconciliation, that he will uh, soothe the heresies and the schisms in the church. So, uh, especially uh, nowadays, in the same time when uh, the homeland of Saint Gregory is uh, infested with the schismatical uh, movement and teaching, and um, uh, the, the church um, of, of that area is inclined, but not, not his uh, homeland, because uh, um, that is the same area, although, so, and uh, those churches uh, which are still re resisting the uh, schismatical movement, they could continue in resisting and um, without any influence from the worldly authorities, but uh, submission, in submission and humility to the uh, canons of the Mother Church to whom you served, uh, and uh, even uh, and to the extent that you were ready to uh, leave your position on the, if only the, uh, the truth would uh, win. And uh, uh, teach us uh, also with uh, that kind of a humility uh, and uh, 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 let uh, uh, those who are your veneration uh, like extend from uh, your homeland to this part of the world, Caribbean and America and, uh, uh, and all over the world. Amen.